high intensity focused ultrasound or HIFU, it's an energy form or a technique, if you like, to ablate or destroy prostate cancer. Typically, it's used for small localized cancers where prostate cancer is in just one part of the prostate rather than throughout the prostate. And the benefit, the, the reason why you do it is that you can ablate or get rid of the cancer, yet you can maintain important quality of life aspects such as bladder control, erections, things of that nature. It's uh, the HIFU uh, is used not so commonly in this country or the United Kingdom at the moment, but it's becoming more and more popular. Usually it's a treatment done under a short general anaesthetic. So you come in, have the, have the anaesthetic and go on to have the procedure. You wake up and you can go home a few hours later. So it's done as a day case. It's extremely well tolerated. If you have prostate cancer, obviously that's not great. You want to be rid of it. You, you don't want to spend the rest of your life worrying about whether the disease will progress or if it's at the point of progression now, you want to stop it progressing any further. So how can it help? Well, you can use HIFU to ablate parts of the prostate where prostate cancer is located. By destroying that part where the prostate cancer is present, you can then stop it from going on to become bigger, grow through the prostate or potentially spread outside the prostate. It's especially good for people who have cancer in parts of the prostate gland itself. So if you have, say, a grade group two tumor, which is a intermediate risk prostate cancer in one part of the prostate, you might be offered active surveillance, for example, or radical prostatectomy. Active surveillance means you monitor the prostate very carefully over years. Uh, radical prostatectomy means you remove the prostate. Sometimes you're offered radiotherapy. Now, these all have potential issues. With active surveillance, you have to have multiple PSA tests, MRI scans, and sometimes repeated biopsies over years, which can be quite uncomfortable. Surgery or radiotherapy can have side effects such as um, erection problems, bladder control issues, bowel issues, and other problems. So HIFU helps by ablating the cancer, get rid of it, and has very, very few side effects. Generally speaking, there's almost, or very, almost never any um, urine incontinence. Erections usually can be preserved in most cases. Uh, the chance of needing additional treatment is quite small. Sometimes it's necessary, but much less than is necessary than when treated by, say, for example, surgery or radiotherapy. So overall, HIFU is extremely useful as a treatment for men who have intermediate risk prostate cancer and parts of the prostate who aren't really uh, very keen to have the traditional treatments that, which have potential drawbacks. HIFU is a technique that's been around for maybe 10 to 20 years. It's been used in the past for treating the whole prostate, but more recently it's been used to treat areas of the prostate which have cancer. So rather than treat the whole prostate, you treat part of the prostate. That's the reason why you can preserve quality of life, yet you can still treat the cancer. So we have data on that for five to 10 years, generally speaking, and the data are very, very good. Overall, if you look at the, um, at the outcomes, almost everyone is free of failure uh, for five to 10 years. There are some people who will need additional treatment. Um, that's true for every treatment that's given, so for radiotherapy, surgery, some people will need additional treatment. Um, after HIFU, a, a proportion of men will need a second treatment, which is usually as well tolerated as the first, but it's a small proportion. Uh, a, another proportion, of a smaller proportion, will need a third treatment. Giving multiple treatments, though, for cancer is not so uncommon. But as I say, the vast majority of people have just one treatment with high food, and it works very well. Success depends really in part on making sure you're the right person for that sort of treatment. If you have just one part of the prostate affected by a cancer, and it's either intermediate or low risk in terms of grades, so the grade groups run from one to five, so if it's grade group one, two, or three, then usually HIFU can be extremely successful as long as it's in one part of the prostate and not throughout the prostate gland. So generally speaking, it's extremely successful and people are very pleased when they have it in the vast majority of cases.
If it's not successful, suppose you can have the treatment and there is persistence or recurrence of disease or sometimes cancer can appear in another part of the prostate later on. It's, it's often possible to either deliver a second treatment or a third treatment, as I say, but if you need to, you can still have the prostate removed or you could have radiotherapy as well. So having high food first does not mean that you have excluded all other treatment options. Uh, it, it, we can still remove the prostate if necessary. In fact, I've done that occasionally when it's been needed and, and it's been possible to do without usually so many issues. For example, after radiotherapy, it's much more difficult to remove the prostate, but after high food, because only part of the prostate has usually been treated, it's usually much easier to remove the prostate. So you can usually still have, for example, nerve sparing on one side of the prostate if you need it, and nerve sparing is needed to try and help keep erections. So high food is done as a day case procedure in a hospital. You come in, have it uh, done uh, in usually a few hours. Uh, after you've had the procedure, you wake up. Um, often there's a catheter in place. You go home that day with the catheter in. The catheter is necessary because the prostate swells during the procedure and sometimes men find it difficult to pass urine. After a few days, and that period of time varies, the catheter is removed um, and people go back to their normal activities. Generally speaking, um, you can resume work, depending on the type of work you have, soon after the catheter has been removed. If you're doing computer work, it could be a couple of days after the procedure. If you're doing heavy work, you probably need to wait till after the catheter has been removed. But generally speaking, the recovery is very fast, which is one of the reasons why it's an attractive treatment. Um, you don't have um, uh, protracted treatment protocols over several weeks. Um, you don't have a catheter in for more than a few days usually. Um, you, you can do heavy lifting, as I say, as soon as the catheter is out. So, so you can resume sports, golf, tennis, whatever you like to do, really within a few days. And that's one of the reasons why it's attractive as a, as a treatment. HIFU um, is available privately. The cost of it varies depending on, on the place you go to. The cost varies between um, £10,000 in some places to £15,000. So it, it helps or pays to look around. Uh, generally speaking, the hospitals have some form of plan for payment as well in many cases. So uh, it's, it's about the cost of a, maybe a small car nowadays to have that sort of treatment.